am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be Donald Trump again, sorry, but I just have to ask, I mean, does he actually really believe these delusional um, uh, things that he, that, he, that he says he believes? Does he really believe it or is he just completely um, lying uh, or has he internalized the lie and it's actually his truth? And will he be caught up in it? Will he be made to face the delusion? So this is the Druid Craft Tarot, and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity, or Druidry, maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little, um, the, car, the box is fantastic, because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge and uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color but it gives you some some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there so I like that the cards themselves the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box which I'm not that happy about but uh, the cards themselves they're huge so some people might find them a little awkward to use but I like them and uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without... You know damaging the cards too much uh, which is uh, always important to me so these cards are fantastic druid craft tarot okay so here's the question i mean donald trump i mean has he convinced himself that these things he's saying are true that uh, does he believe does he actually really believe uh this stuff i mean what is what's going on in his personal life and what is he telling people personally i mean is he being truthful to anybody in his life or is he just pushing this insanity i mean even to his own family i mean to people who know him is he holding the line uh making them think that he believes that this election was really stolen and um I can't imagine. I mean, I just can't imagine. But let's ask the cards. So, so does Donald Trump actually really believe the lies that he's spreading? Does he believe the lies that he's spreading? I've actually known someone uh, like that who, 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 who lied so much and so thoroughly that they just never wavered from it, I think, until they actually believed it. And I want to know, does he believe his lies? And then, for the last part of this Celtic cross, will he be caught up in it? Will he be made to face the honesty, the truth behind the lie? That's what I want to know. All of that in, ten, in a 10-card Celtic cross. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is going to be... Six cards right off the bat. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Does he believe the lies? Um, I, I can't imagine. So the signifier card for this question, for this question, does Donald Trump actually believe the lies that he's pushing when he goes on television, when he's speaking to his private, personal family and advisors. Does he believe it? The signifier card for this is the Ten of Swords. The end, 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 end of a cycle. This is the very end. Man, I have an idea what this means, but let me leave it for a second before I get into that. 
the uh, challenge to this end, to this end of this cycle, is the Nine of Swords. Oh my God, nightmares. I mean, just really endless sleepless nights. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this, I believe what's happened is that he can't face the fact. I mean, he knows that all of these issues, all the lawsuits, all the scheming, all the cheating, all the business cheating that he's done over the years, it's all coming home to roost, and there's no way to avoid it uh, unless he were the president. And that has, that's the end of it. He's, he's, he's come to realize it, and I think his brain can't take it. And the challenge to that is that it's just an endless nightmare for him personally. The base of this reading then is the two of wands. Okay, so the two of wands is usually about planning. Wands are actions, uh, movement, but you can, I'm going to show you this. This this figure that's holding these two of wands can't make any plans. Look how faded he is into the past. He barely exists. So plans aren't going to work here. That's what I believe. The, um, the past uh, for this part of this reading then is the Six of Cups. And it is that. It's remember, you know, the Six of Cups is uh, cups are emotion, uh, passion. And uh, this is someone wanting, looking back on how it was and just really wanting it to be the way it was. Perfectly fits in with this, with this reading. In the sky for this, then, is the Two of Cups, partnerships. So I think he's looking for, for partnerships, for anybody, as many people as he can, to partner up on this insanity belief. And sadly, um, it's all, the, the people who are partnering with him are doing so for their own um, benefit, and it doesn't matter to those folks uh, about the lies that he's telling as long as they get the other delusional people who are close to him, who are making judgments from afar, from not knowing what's inside this man's head, they are believing what he says. And those are the partnerships that he has to have, the only partnerships that he can have. So the um, this one is important, and this one needs to be on top. So um, the the likely outcome of the first part of this just insanity is um, the high priestess. The high priestess, you know, the high priestess sort of... Um, beckons to me like an all-knowing but you know we're doing dealing with the druidcraft tarot deck where someone might use these cards to uh um, for incantation or for to so i think that he believes that that's who he is that he can literally will this into being and because he has in fact willed so much of his life into being what he wanted it to be i really believe that's who he think he thinks he is. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he's actually performing some sort of prayerful um, uh, ritual uh, in private when no one else can see him. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Now, for the last uh, four cards of this, uh, we're going to take them from here. And so, this I want to be the um, the justice, the truth. I want to know: um, Will he be made to face? the actual and acknowledge the actual truth that's what i want to know the signifier card of that is going to be the king of swords man i get a great big the strongest card you can get in the sword deck so this is the king of swords he's bringing the truth to the table okay the environment that that truth is in is what it's right here and the environment that that truth is in Wow, is the chariot. And these are things coming at a rapid pace. I don't know if it's significant that this is a woman, but this is a woman with uh, a wand in her hand, uh, likely a whip, but it looks like a wand. And so I'm going to say that the environment that this truth is in is barreling down. Okay? The hopes and the fears for this situation, then, is the sun. It's going to be lit up. It's gonna, it, it, the curtains are gonna be thrown back. Um, it's gonna be shined on. And uh, we're, he's going to have to see this in the light of day. And the likely outcome for all of this then is the king of wands, the king of action, planning, motion, making things happen. You know guys, I'm telling you, 
this says to me that he is going to be made to see to see exactly what's going on here I don't think I even have to go over this again this has been incredibly clear so yeah I mean it's obvious this the whole the, the reading started out with the ten of swords I mean just a complete end finito done the the lies are here and he believes them and the horror of it is that he can't sleep it's just endless sleepless dreaded nights um, the the basis of this reading was this two of wands so faint we well, you know wands are actions plans motion and these this two of wands is so faint that you can't imagine that he didn't have a stand a chance of, of happening um, in the past was wishing things were the way they used to be with the six of cups and in the sky uh, we have partnerships seeking those partnerships to make this happen to to, to make people believe and then but the uh, the likely outcome of all of that is that he thinks he can wish this into being I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually doing some sort of ritualistic insanity in his quiet time by himself but then the the self of the of the thing will he be made to face it king of swords these are truths this is as strong a truth as you get the king of swords and then the king of swords is in the environment of the chariot barreling down the truth is barreling down on him and what's going to happen in the hopes and the fears the sun is shining on all of this insanity and with the sun shining on everything the king of, of wands the king of action motion getting things done is going to make sure that he, he looks at all this right in the face not good for Donnie I'm Mark my journey through tarot Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.